Marcus. One second. Boy, I hope he doesn't park that in Roseanne and Tom's spot. Boy. <laughs> I have to tell you, I'm so glad the entrance is over because I've been under such pressure, as you can imagine. Everyone's been talking about, how's he coming out? How's he coming out? I know how he's coming out. He's coming out like this. Everybody wanted me to come out like them because they thought it was good luck. A few good men said, come out like a Marine, you know? Get like Jack in a tight close-up. You can't handle the truth! <laughs> then people said, come out like Clint. And then the crying game said, you know, just come out. So I'm here. So here we are. How are you? Actually, the most nervous people in the audience have got to be the producers of the crying game who are looking at me now and going, don't say a word. I'll be good for a while. I will not reveal the secret of that great movie, but I have to say, for me, that big scene proved one thing. White men can jump. <laughs> Boy, talk about a stocking stuffer, I'll tell you that right now. But this is... This is the 65th... Academy Awards, I'm delighted to be here. I almost did not show, I have to tell you. I tried to pull out last week, but I had this oral agreement, and <laughs> so they held me to it. Tonight is a night where we honor people for individual achievement and also for bodies of work. And looking at this crowd, some of your bodies have had a lot of work. I can't believe it. But the theme tonight is women in film, and ironically, 1992 has been a very poor year for women's parts. In fact, some of the most talked about women's parts are Sharon Stone's and Basic Instinct. <laughs> it's not been a great year for women in film. Ask Kim Basinger. She'll give you nine million reasons why it's not been a great... I wouldn't want to live in the town that she owns, I'll tell you that. There's gonna be a tax hike. Ooh. <laughs> One minute you're a movie star, the next you're the Sheriff of Nottingham. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it has been a great year for all kinds of movies this year. Big Hollywood extravaganzas like A Few Good Men, the J. Edgar Hoover story. <laughs> Talk about a best kept secret, I'm telling you. Hoover was the master of disguise, really. For seven years, he was on the Andy Griffith Show as Aunt B. <laughs> Gotta admire him, not only did he catch Dillinger, he was the lady in red. This is interesting thing. And then there were smaller personal movies like A River Runs Through It, lovely film, two hours of fly fishing. I love the movie, I had trouble relating to it because in my family, the closest we get to fly fishing is, pass the locks! Also, <clears throat> animated movies, Aladdin was an enormous hit. It made almost as much money as Michael Eisner did. <clears throat> Disney now working on a new animated film, the animated Amy Fisher story. <laughs> Beauty and the Middle-Aged Beast, so have a look at it. <clears throat> and now they bought a hockey team. Disney has bought a hockey team, a Disney hockey team. Used to be the only Disney on ice was Walt. I mean, what is this now? <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> That's why we're black, for that joke. And this is also the year of the independent film, The British Invasion, Howard's End, nine nominations. Might, made, of course, by the talented Merchant Ivory team who do these great period classics, such as Room with a View. Nine nominations. And now, I think to their credit, they want to do something more contemporary. So they're gonna make a movie with Spike Lee. Yeah, it's gonna be called Howard's Beach. Good job. We also had a lot of controversy uh, this year. The first time a nomination has been disallowed. The Uruguayan film, A Place in the World, was disqualified in the foreign language film category. Apparently what happened was the South American director hired an American nanny. And it's good news. Can't use it. But the thrill for me is, as your host tonight, and for the past three years, just look out on this audience and see all of these great stars. This is what it's all about. It's Clint Eastwood, how are you? Nine nominations, Unforgiven. I'm a big fan, you know that.
<clears throat> Clint, of course, played that ruthless character, and you know that he used those same tactics when he cleaned up that lawless renegade town of Carmel, California. <laughs> when he was the mayor there, there was Dodge, Tombstone, and Carmel. It was Clint Eastwood who instituted the no creme brulee after 10 p.m. ordinance. <laughs> it's true. Only Clint Eastwood could stare at local resident and burr under the saddle, Doris Day, look her right in the eyes and say, curb those dogs. <laughs> but the best, love to see Jack right in the front row, man. I love it. Oh, no, look at it. <clears throat> I look, you like this, huh? It's sort of Armani meets Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. I love it, I mean, I love Jack. He's sitting right there smiling at me. I feel like a Laker girl. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but Jack, the glasses, man, you're indoors. The dark glasses, you're indoors. You know why you need it? You're such a big star, your own luster gets in your eyes. That's how big you are, man. You should have a number three on the back of your tux. You're Babe Ruth to me. I mean that. <laughs> See, now, once the nominations come out, Jack, this is Jack's 10th nomination. It ties in with Sir Lawrence Olivier and Betty Davis. 10, babe. Now, once the nominations are announced, the campaigning goes on, people want your vote, people want you to see the movie, see the cassettes. These are some of the things that you get. People at home, you get all of these things. Look at what I got. This is from the producers of uh, Woody Allen's screenplay, uh, Husbands and Wives. They sent this to me, so I thought this was interesting. <laughs> this, this cassette. And then, you see it again? See, it's, it's the thing. They did it on 60 Minutes, so it's okay to do it here. Then, A League of Their Own, the story of the women's baseball team was um, uh, wanting you to uh, notice Madonna's performance in that. So they sent from the movie, her bustier and cup, which I thought was interesting. <laughs> it was for best supporting actress. And, <laughs> see that? and a personal favorite of mine, Al Pacino, nominated for two awards, best actor and best supporting. How are you, Al? I wasn't at all surprised with the two nominations, because look what he sent me. This thing here, I got this thing here. Okay. This is it. Okay. Hi. And you all know Salman Rushdie? Yeah. You know, everybody's dressing up. Okay. You know, every year for the um, past few years, I've uh, I've poked a little fun at the Academy, and I've done a funny medley of opening numbers, um, sort of poking fun at the traditional, what I felt were kind of strange opening numbers that we've had to endure over the past few years. And the Academy kind of got upset with me for making fun of their opening numbers, where I take the nominated songs and put them into one medley. So tonight, unfortunately, there will be no medley. Tonight, no, all right. Tonight, you will not hear me sing. It's a wonderful night for Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Who will win? The nominees for Best Picture are... See him tango across the floor. Watch him drink and hear him roar. He's drunk, he's blind, and yet he drives. So how the hell is he still alive? And double woman, W-O-M-A-N. Ooh-ah, say it again. Tonight the saying Al, you may not lose. It is the Oscar you can't refuse. You got that perfume smelling, always yelling, nephew choking, cigar smoking, skirt chasing booze, tasting family miffin', chick sniffing blue. And I'm just getting started. Hooray for Howard's end. I really hope this picture starts a trend. A picture with no blood or perspiration, just conversation. No psycho waits round the bend. And not an ounce of smart and ain't called Howard's butt. They call it Howard's end. Now listen up. Every time I say something to you, you will repeat it back to me. Are we clear? Yes, sir. 
I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. A few big names mean movie gold. A few big names mean movie gold. To me and Tom put you in the black. To me and Tom put you in the black. Now hock your house and get me Jack. Now hock your house and get me Jack. A few good men is celebrated. A few good men is celebrated. So how's the director not nominated? So how's the director not nominated? Nominations one, two. figure, Rob. No more. <laughs> This one's for you, Jack. You see a pair of flashing eyes. Your hand starts creeping up her thighs. You hurry to a spot. You hot to trot for this dame. Those eyes, those thighs, surprise! It's the crying game. One more time. Those eyes, those thighs, surprise! It's the crying game. I didn't order that. Unforgiven. That's what you are. You killed everyone, cause you're the star. Come here, you big mayor, you. You directed and produced with ease. Long way from singing, I talk to the trees. May I be the last to say, tonight may make your day. Unforgiven, or Howard's end. Scent of a woman, the crying game, or a few good men. That's the list of all five nominees. Now before I slide down on my knees, Mr. Saturday Night. I just wanted to see how it would feel. So sue me. <laughs> May I have...